Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with how to make perfect instant mashed potatoes. That's right, I'm doing this video for three great reasons. First, instant mashed potatoes are my official culinary guilty pleasure, and I've always wanted to admit that in public. Secondly, these are almost never made using the proper technique, which I'm just about to show you. And then last but not least, I found out the company that makes my favorite brand wanted to sponsor a video, which as you may know, I almost never do. But I did agree, because it is something I enjoy and use for real. And besides, this hairpiece is not going to pay for itself. So with that, let's go ahead and begin with the star of the show, our Idahoan Signature Russets. Oh yeah, if you think any plain old russet's going to make it into this, think again. And I'm not going to pretend to be some kind of expert. I mean, I only took one semester of potato in culinary school. But I do remember that Idaho grows the best potatoes in the world because of the perfect conditions. We're talking hot days, cool nights. And don't even get me started on the volcanic soil. But above and beyond using the finest potatoes, the real key to making perfect instant mashed potatoes is using the proper technique. And by proper technique, I mean read the back of the package. I mean, think about it. Some very skilled, very talented people at Idahoan, many of whom I assume were wearing lab coats, spent countless hours coming up with the perfect formula. And as much as I'd like to think I could approve upon that, I can't. So we will definitely measure according to the directions. And once that's set, we can go ahead and carefully pour our cold, fresh water into a saucepan, along with our butter, and then we'll head to the stove and place that over medium-high heat, where we will bring it up to a boil. And besides standing there and waiting for that to happen, make sure you've grabbed a fork and that your milk and potatoes are nearby, because as soon as this comes up to a boil, we're going to take it off the heat and quickly stir in those ingredients. So we will simply stand by with fork in hand, waiting for it to boil. And by the way, we are just waiting for it to start to boil. All right, once it starts boiling, don't leave it on the stove. Otherwise, that water is going to start to reduce and throw off our perfect formula. So we'll just keep an eye on it. And then what we'll do as soon as that comes to a boil is remove it from the heat. And we will pour in our cold milk, followed by our Idahoan signature russets. And then all we're going to do is take a fork and stir this in a circular motion for 10 seconds. And yes, 10 seconds of stirring is all you need. Don't worry if a little butter on the edge is not mixed in. That's totally fine and may be an advantage. So we'll go ahead and give that about a 10 second mix with our fork. And then we're going to wait exactly one minute for the magic to happen. And I mean that literally. Both that it's going to be a minute and that it's going to be magic. So we're going to wait and let this sit for exactly 60 seconds. At which point we're going to take our fork and give it another quick stir for about 10 seconds. And that is it. If everything's gone according to plan, and by plan I mean you measured and followed the directions, you should be enjoying something remarkably similar to the ones made in the traditional method. And that is exactly what I achieved right here. These should be buttery, creamy, light and fluffy, and nothing even close to the dense, gluey mess most people are forced to endure. So not to brag, but I nailed it. And then usually I would enjoy these guilty pleasure style right out of the pot. But let me go ahead and plate some up, because we're going to need a few pictures. Plus I want to show off my next level potato mounding skills. Check it out, that's not bad. And not that it needs it, but I'm going to top with a little thin slice of butter, mostly because I really love to watch it slowly melt. And then we'll finish up with a little bit of fresh chive. And of course, toppings and fixins are up to you. You are, after all, the Johnny Cash of your instant mash. So while I do usually enjoy these as is, I did dress these up a little bit for the photos. But anyway, that's it. Our perfect instant mashed potatoes are officially done. And as I dig in here, I'm thinking, I called these a guilty pleasure. But truth be told, for a guilty pleasure, I never really feel guilty after eating them. I mostly just feel happy and satisfied. So on behalf of myself and my friends at Idahoan, we really do hope you give these a try soon. So head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts, which will be coming right off the back of the package. And of course, more information as usual. And as always, enjoy.